where art is a huge scene. There's a huge art community here, and there's an effort called Genuine Wallowa County, where artists, and they're putting everything together for economic development, but actually putting their products out there online so you can buy authentic items from Wallowa County. Now, today we're at Moonshine Glass Blowing, at Glass Art, and uh, Kathy is right over there. She's going to learn how to blow glass, as are all these other people in the classroom here. They're all part of the class that is coming out here. And uh, again, we want to thank our sponsors, Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealers, also Wallowa County Chamber. And I'm going to give a shout out also to uh, the bed and breakfast we stayed at last night. It was just absolutely awesome. And um, we really appreciate that. And we're going to, in a minute here, we're going to be telling you more about other products that you can, um, the Kokanee Inn Bed and Breakfast. I forgot I didn't say it. The Kokanee Inn Bed and Breakfast, really cool place. Uh, we get to stay there because they're uh, allowing us to have a couple of rooms for the night. So anyway, so here we are. And my man, tell them who you are. This is the man who Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Sterling Webb. I'm the owner and operator of Moonshine Glass. Uh, how did you get started in uh, I was brewing beer at Terminal Gravity, and the guy who was running the bottling line, his name is Jake Kurtz, a good friend of mine, uh, was a glass blower, selling his hand-blown glasses at Terminal Gravity right off the top of the shelf. And they have kind of a mug club there at that brewery, so customers can buy glasses and put them, keep them in the shelf, and they come in and they drink out of their hand-blown glass. And I'd never seen glass blowing before, uh, but they were looking for a third member of the shop, and he was like, you got to come check this out, you got to come check this out, and finally he talked me into it. And I tried it once, and I was like, this is it. This is what I want to do. So uh, that was two and a half years ago. And uh, Moonshine Glass has actually been around for about 30 years in Wallowa County. A gentleman named Russell Ford, kind of an icon in the county, started it uh, on Moonshine Ditch on the side of Mount Joseph, hence the name. And so I was blowing with Russell Ford and Jake Kurtz, and I started looking for hot shops to buy. And I almost bought a place in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, to ship over here and talked to Russell about it, and he's in his mid-70s and didn't really want the upkeep of the, the daily upkeep that the shop like this takes, and, and but still wanted to keep glass blowing alive in Wallowa County, so we made a deal. I bought all his equipment, moved it down the road 20 miles, put it here right on the main drag in Enterprise, Oregon. So you teach classes, too? Yeah, we teach classes. We're going to teach Kathy a class right now. She's going to make a flower. So we, do, we have a variety of classes like hearts, mushrooms, flowers, eggs or paperweights and of course we'll do the you know pumpkin blowing workshops and the christmas ordinance workshops we will exploit every holiday we can <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for our viewers in the adventure package yeah so i'd like to offer up two glass blowing classes for whoever wins that adventure package and you guys can come to wallowa county explore the mountains swim in the lake and then come blow some glass all right, show Kathy how to do it. All right, you guys, so uh, there again, um, he's offering it to, in our, get, our getaway package, uh, he's going to give two glass blowing classes. So to enter the contest, what you have to do is tag two people. Uh, you tag two folks, and then, and, uh, and then uh, you can tell us why you want to come to Wallowa County. That always helps. But you uh, tag two people, and then go on and like the Explore page. It, all the directions are right up at the top. So you'll know exactly what to do to enter the contest. But you need to tag people uh, who you're going to bring with you uh, in that contest. So, again, we're at Moonshine Glass. And uh, we just shot a video with him on glass blowing. And now he's going to have Kathy. And he's got a whole bunch of other people here uh, ready to take a class on glass blowing and what it's all about. So while they're figuring that out, I'm going to go introduce you to somebody else here real quick. Why well, they're going there. They're taking a long time. So you know what we're going to do? What? You and I are going to chat. There she is. Tell us. You guys, if you've been seeing genuine Wallowa County passing our stuff everywhere, this is, she's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> you really. So you're in economic development here. Yeah, that's my day job. Um, and so, um, you know, this, this is a small county. I think Sterling talked about 7,000 people. Um, so we all know each other, sort of. And so I... I was doing my work at Knarth Development and looking at all of the things that my friends make and thinking, you know, we are really a special place here and there are so many cool things being made in this county and we need to, we need to celebrate that. And so 
Um, I created an online store. And what's it called? It's called Genuine Wallowa County. So you guys can go on there, genuinewallowacounty.com. Dot com, yeah. And then you can buy, like, local people, artists, items. I mean, yeah. show so us some we'll of this stuff real quick, things. you guys. you got to see this. Yeah. So they are all um, gift boxes, and there's also a subscription box. So um, if you remember Book of the Month Club, uh -huh. where you get a box every month. So um, they come and they look, um, you know, they come to you looking special. So um, you and open them is, up, and they're all different. This um, is everything from music to bath salts to... Yes, we have so many things being made in the county. We have um, the things that you know. So we've got Arrowhead. We've got... Um, we can't, unfortunately, we can't sell the beer, so we have a couple of items from Terminal Gravity, um, and um, and then we've got people that you maybe never heard of, like Beth McBee, who makes these fantastically squishy, lovely ta um, pillows. Show them this card. You guys, you have to see the necklace, or the yeah. it's a necklace and a card, but look at this. So Get it out of the plastic, but I was going to wreck the plastic, so I okay. didn't, but... Um, so each of these beads is hand carved by Coley Coley Riggs, who lives in Lostine, uh, from Elder or from Snowberry Branch, excuse me. And then she made each of these beads, and then she also hand forged this clasp. She did she do the artwork on there too? And she made this presentation panel about the artwork. She is one of my favorite artists in the whole county. She's so talented. She's a, a amazing combination of her father's skills, he was a backwoods survivalist. He wore buckskins that he made. Wow. And she went to fine arts uh, school, you know, so she's a. She's so a could fine you imagine artist. giving that to somebody because it's, it's so authentic? I mean, right. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about if this was on the Antique Roadshow, you would have everything you needed to right? make that thing worth everything, you know? Oh my gosh. She yeah. drew it, she, she, come, she made it, she carved the beads, exactly. and it's all out of that same branch. That is yeah, so no, amazing. She, she is a real, just makes everything. Everything and then we've got well carrot um, body products. We've got a bunch of music. There are a ton of musicians in the county, and um, we've got a woman who makes salve. We've got so so milk this soap. so this is in a it's like a club. You get on and every month they somebody you get you get a new box of something. The subscription box, yes. And so these are all gift boxes. So those are one and one and done kind of like okay. you order it, you send it. But you can also order products by just on their own. Um, no, they're all in the boxes. That's so cool. Yeah. So you get a, a, a kind of a little package there yeah. that comes right. to you. And so you want it to look special. So when people open it, it comes with a um, card. You can have whatever you like. That may be backwards. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it, it comes with a gift card. It comes with a sheet that talks about all the people who are in the box, people who have made things in the box. So why is it important that Wallowa County kind of... It, it come together as a community like that, an art yes. community, because you have, I mean, and you've been doing this just a little while, and you have over 40 people already. Right, and 100 products, and I'm not even close to being done. There are many more people that I will continue to add in the coming months. Um, and um, so the reason that it's so important is that we're at the end of the road, right? It's hard to get here. And, but we want to be here. And you so have to want to get here. We do everything we can to be able to stay here because we love it so much and we love each other. And this is a very, I've, been, I've lived in other communities where people are really competitive. And in this community, everyone is really collaborative and so, we really want to help each other out. Well, thank you for doing that and yes. for coming and showing us. And thanks for tagging all my stuff for me. Of course. Okay, he's ready for Kathy yeah, to go do right, this. I'll so I'm going to go. head over here. All right, we're ready for you. Sorry. We were, okay. we were talking. These guys get to pick out their glass. All right. You ready for this, hon? Yes. I'm really ready. So you learned the whole thing? No, we're about to find out. Okay. I, it's just crazy to me that's going to be a flower. <laughs> that little bit of glass. Okay, so that's going to be Kathy's flower. This is Kathy's colors that she's chosen. She's done a green center for the stem and then a rainbow mix that's going to be the petals. And I'll show you how we do this. You ready? Okay. Yep, we're ready. I usually say fun first, safety second, but because we're televised, I'm gonna put these on you, okay? Okay, yep. <laughs> My insurance guy would like that. <laughs> yeah, OSHA's, OSHA approved, so. Yeah, that's for you, Paul. All right, you guys, so we're at Moonshine Glass, and where they do classes where you can learn how to blow your own glass. So Kathy's learning to blow a flower, and as part of our giveaway package, our getaway package, um, 
he's going to give away two classes. So when you win the package, you get to come in. You and the person you bring with you can come down. Okay, look at this. Oh, my gosh. He said it's 2,100 degrees. So he's pulling glass out of there for her. So again, you guys, we want to thank our sponsors, Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealers and Olawa County. And also shout out to the Kokanee Inn Bed and Breakfast for putting up with us last night and tonight. That is so crazy. It is. And I want you to do this. I want you to take this graphite paddle and just go around the edges and give it a nice smush. Are you guys take? Are you watching closely so you'll know what to do? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys are on your own. Now. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Great. You can set the paddle down. So now go ahead and set the paddle on the table. We've picked up all this color that you chose with this molten glass and just fused together. Got this little discus shape that we're gonna have to try and turn into a flower. I'll show you how we do that. So I'm gonna get the quick flash in this 2300 degree forge so that color doesn't start popping off. And then I'm gonna come sit at that bench behind you and I'm gonna show you how we squeeze this flower out together. This is our fastest class item. It goes pretty quick because we need a really hot heat and then we only have a matter of seconds to pull the flower out. So this is going to be your tool here. Go ahead and hold those tweezers for me. And I'm going to have these tweezers. We're going to do this together. Okay. So as I'm turning, I want you to come in here and do what I'm doing. This is just a right practice. Now. This is a practice run, but I want you to do it to see what we're going to do when we go live. So you're pinching the edges, and this is going to create kind of a flower petal look. Okay. Because we're going to pinch and pull a little bit, and it's going to fan out. Am I going to be pulling? Uh, just a little bit. You'll okay. see. It's very soft. You just kind of follow the leader and okay. do what I do. So once we have that nice flower petal look, I'll hold it vertical like this, and you'll grab the opposite side from me. So go ahead and do it now, just for practice. And you pinch firmly, and slowly pull down towards the ground, nice and straight like that. And then we'll switch sides and do that several times to create that step. So go ahead and set your tweezers down for a moment. We'll come back to those. You guys, if you want to get any of the products you're seeing here and on there, you can go to genuinewalawacounty.com. And... Uh, you can find all genuine products made right here in Wallowa County. This is so cool. And again, whoever wins our adventure getaway, two of you get to come to these class. You're going to get to blow your own glass. Look, she's a glass blower. I know. She's already doing it. So you'll notice here that this glass starts to get molten hot and want to kind of collapse on itself. Yeah. At that point, I'll take it from you before disaster strikes. You'll go grab those tweezers again, and I'll meet you back eventually. You guys, this afternoon, uh, we're going to be at Terminal Gravity. And later tonight, we're going to be out at a clear glass bottom kayak in Wallawa Lake. We got, we got so much content coming for you this week and next week, too. I know. Rochelle, it is cool. Plenty to keep you busy here. Stem. 
hold it up like this, grab the opposite side of the knee, and pull down towards the floor. And then switch sides, and pull down towards the floor again. And switch that sides, is so cool. And pull down towards the floor again. And do you want a straight stem or a twisty stem? Twisty. All right. So one more pull, and I'll put a twist in it. I got it. So here's how we do the twist. Like that. A little bit of air there from my lungs keeps it in the shape. And now I'm going to crimp the end of this flower for a break off point. I'm using these diamond shears to crimp it and cool it where I want it to break free. Just like that. You can see that little jack line I put in. I'll provide this cord. I have some tongs here that are coated in Kevlar so I can touch the hot glass. I break it free like that. We've got a little jagged edge. So I just plain polish that to make it nice and soft again. Just like that. There you go, there's your flower. That's beautiful. Then it sits in here overnight and it's ready to go. 900 degrees. And everybody gets a high five. And you, uh, so you, you call this the, in the morning. He, it's this Christmas box because it, he puts it. You put it in there so quickly that you kind of don't see what you did in there. Yeah, you in don't the have a lot of time to admire your item. Right. So when we come in the next morning, we call it Christmas morning because we open up this annealer and we get to really admire all our work. Which I think is fun. Is yeah, it's do, so Christmas every morning. Christmas every day. Yeah. <laughs> so do one more thing for me because I think it's super important. Tell people you lived in Portland for years. Yeah, I grew up in Portland, sixth generation Portlander. Moved out to Willowa County and take care of my mother, who had unfortunately been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I spent 10 years taking care of her. She just passed away last month. Um, and I started blowing glass about two and a half years ago. Uh, met the woman of my dreams, Emily Bright, about uh, five years ago. Raised my daughter here in Willowa County. I mean, it's uh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. So your mom was always leading you the whole time, even when you were a big boy. My, my mom uh, was a, a very dynamic woman. She was a race car driver. She, was, uh, she owned the most prestigious auto body shop in Portland for about 20 years called Webb Auto Body and Paint. Her name was Mary Webb, um, and she was a glass collector. Uh, unfortunately, her Alzheimer's was so advanced by the time I got into the art form that she never got to see me do it, really. But, uh, you know, yeah, this is for mom. She's in there. She's in there. Thanks for having us out. Thanks for doing that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, you're yeah. welcome. Thanks again, and thanks for donating to the cause. <laughs> yeah, that was really sweet. So, um, again, we want to. Yeah, that. <laughs> I kind of made it. Yeah, made us teary. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat how people end up in places like this, um, uh, finding their dreams and uh, finding their lives. I think sometimes you you get into a small place and you're forced to deal with yourself. Maybe I don't know. I yeah. don't know. It, but it's, what a legacy, and yeah. how, how amazing, you know, like you said, like the story, you just don't know. And what he brought was here, and now he's become a glass blower. It's just crazy. So, you guys, we sure. are going to move on, and we're going to be, a, I don't know if it's going to live or later, uh, Terminal Gravity, we're going there for lunch, and uh, they're a local brewery. And then we're going to be, uh, this afternoon, we are going to the OK, okay Theater. Theater. It's yeah. a theater that's been around here for 100 years. And we've got a class reunion of folks from the 60 years ago who are going to be there. And we're talking to them. That might be something that's late. We'll, we'll wait for later just to air. But we're going to have stuff all over here. So you need to be checking our Facebook page. You also need to check our Instagram page because it's different content in different places. So it's exploring at the backstories. Anything else? Just I already put a shout out to the <laughs> Kokanee in bed and breakfast for putting up with us for two nights. They yeah. gave us a room for two nights and we're really pleased and yes. we want to thank them thank for that. Them, yeah. And also um, our sponsors. We Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealer. And uh, Willowa County Chamber of Commerce. All right. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Share this on your page. We'll talk to you later.